Bet you can't guess what anime I just finished watching. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Teddy. Welcome back to episode 20 of Summertime Rendering. We've entered the double digits, starting with a two. I'm gonna let you guys in on what I'm planning to do once I finish Summertime Rendering and Cyberpunk Edge Runners already in advance a little bit. I'll also probably mention it on the Summertime or Cyberpunk Edge Runners reactions as well. That gives you enough time to like think about whatever you want to think about, I don't know. But I just want to tell you in advance anyway. So once those two anime are finished, I don't know if I'm gonna rush into starting a new one because I think there's enough already that I'm reacting to throughout the week that are doing well enough that I can not start like another two anime or something like that, okay? I'm also probably gonna at this point start working on like the glass painting business, if you will. So I need that time, I need to put a little more time also on making some and I didn't have any when I was reacting like you know and uploading two videos a day so what I'm saying is that you know Monday is gonna be blue lock spy family Wednesday is gonna be chainsaw man Thursday is gonna be mob psycho I think that's enough probably reactions to occupy the week but then I also have Tuesday free and I also have Friday free. <laughs> it's really only just two days, y'all. It's not that much of a difference. When I've kind of sorted out or like see that I have enough free time to do more reactions, I'll so maybe start a new one. But at the moment, I think there's so many. I'm reacting to four different series. I think it's kind of too much. I know there's people reacting to like 20 different series, but that personally could not be me. October is fire. What can I say? You gotta keep up with everything. You're you're missing out on the hype. So I'll say that again once we're finished with both series. And yeah, anyway, on the last episode, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Kizuru's battling it out. I've been trying to spit that sentence out for like five minutes already. She's battling it out with Shide. Um, she managed to somehow kind of remove her brother and speak to him one-on-one -on -one without it being through the phone and basically told him, listen, I'm prepared to die. You can go all out. I know my body's breaking apart, but it's this is it anyway. So might as well just try it. Also, we got seashell Ushio somehow. I don't know if she can like heal from that seashell, but I hope she can. <laughs> Maybe. Faster, perhaps. Okay, well, that's gone. Better. Yes, yeah, see, so like, where is he? Shit. For this? Hell yeah. Oh, whoa. All is not lost. This is gonna be a hell of an episode, I can tell. He just keeps on healing. I think you've known a lot of people since they were a baby. The fuck? <laughs> Me too. Since you've lost all humanity. Business needed to be taken care of. The fuck you mean? Ah,そうか。記憶は読めても理解はできないのか。もう一度私を好きにしたらどうだ。ブレンチ ずっと探していたんだ。償う機会を。償う。死での言った通り、龍之介が死んだのは私のせいだ。I don't know that it was. It was a Freak accident. You're telling me. 
奇跡が起きて龍之介の影に謝ることができた一番迷惑なんですよね自分が正義やと思い込んでる人<笑>ここまでです。知れの鎧は誰でもない。中身は空なんだ。うん。いや。だから。Where is Kill it! Somehow! Whoa! If they become two people... Yes! You go rest, let him take care of it. Wow, that's weird. Yeah. She just might be dying. Tokiko! I was like, what's she talking about? Where is she? Did he transform? The last we saw him? Ah, I thought that was the real Mio.私よりも新平君を殺してあげた方がええんとちゃいますかいや、みおちゃん。みおちゃんとそうくんは昼子どうえ送りました。今頃母が食べているころでしょう。ちょっと遅かったかな、新平君。ウェルス、ジェンタン
she was with them. I know that's about to be the one that's going in here. Not now, though. Oh. They left before. We don't? Okay, so we're going to Haina, I guess. Then. Oh, I think we have to go to Ruk's house. Oh, okay. That's the one thing that we have to do. ブラ。お前を助ける。それからそこで見ようとそうに追いついて止める。見よう。南雲先生も両方助けて。Oh <笑> I don't understand why they don't wait a bit, like, just sit down somewhere, like, sleep it out. <laughs> just so it, like, uh, catches up on time a little bit. You did. Okay, now we gotta go back to the island, maybe. いや。時間がない。俺は鍵を取らずに向かう。おじいたしてんのね。ごめん。売ってしまって。その言いたかったけど大丈夫。気にすんな。私があんたでも同じことしてた。ゼイム。そうと見は。小船に戻って子供らを
Bro, he's a it, it will make a difference, though. No, 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 that's stupid. He really was about to do it. Yeah. And if he looped again, I think he would be dead as well, no? Damn. I was just saying last episode how her and Ushio were my favorite. Yeah, even after all this millennia years. I don't know how that's gonna help him now. That's all you need to know. You do. Yes, 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 yes. So he died. Oh. <laughs> they had a different philosophy in Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Oh, what are these spheres? Spheres. Hell yeah, they wouldn't see that coming, no way. But then that would like trash his body completely. <laughs> I think she died so many times that I'm like, okay, <laughs> this time's official, but. Yeah. So I got used to it. Shin left without options becomes super dangerous because he starts getting super irrational as well making decisions that don't make sense that he hasn't even thought about for like two seconds he just like automatically pointed the gun to his head was gonna blow his brains out thank god shadow mio was there i already had it when he was like trying to negotiate with shide this would have been a breaking point for me for him as a character if he just like was like, oh, I'm gonna try to save you when he knows he can't. So in the end, we've concluded that Shide is really just using Hainan to get reborn. He doesn't, he's not planning on sending her home. He's like preaching about how, oh, this was my only mission in life and it's my ultimate goal to aid Hainan. Liar. Usotsuki. I think it honestly probably exceeds what we originally think as well. Like it's not just him getting reborn and living eternally. I think it's further than that. I think he wants to maybe like <laughs> consume her, become the god himself. So when Hizuru was saying she's a child actually in the end, like she just wants to be like held and likes to be spoiled. I think what she meant by that was that Shire knows how to manipulate her because she is a child and she has that mentality. She, even the first time we met up with those two in the cave, he was like telling her off and she was like, oh, but, 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 you know, this happened, blah, 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 blah. And I don't know what, like she was very obedient for someone that's a literal God. And you know, this is your underling. Why are you listening to him? Like it's your dad, but it's cause he's created this relationship and this power dynamic where he's on the top, not her. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.